loud. What's going on? Oh, you've really mucked it up today, you have. What are you doing? Shooby dooby doo boo boo doo boo. This is crazy. Where's my clip gone? Where's my hair gone? Oh, I'll just leave it. Just put my hair down, it knows me. Right. Do we do? Good afternoon. If anybody's there, no, no one's there. Nobody's there, no. Right. I'm in a bit of a, a, a pickle. A, a pickle. I'm in a pickle. Ugh. I'm in a pickle. Alexa, mm. play some calming meditation music, please. I'm stressed. Here's a playlist you might like. Yoga Flare on Amazon Music. Oh, I'm a bit of that. Alexa? Alexa? Level one, please. Hello, Karen. Hello, Liz. Hello, Sharon. Hey, I'm dead stressed today, right, because I've just had a little bit of a meet, well, quite a, a good meeting, uh, with Studio Light, and um, I'm just proper stressing, proper stress heading. So, I'm looking at my old papers. Today's going to be very much, use what you've got, and I'm sick. Car uh, hi, Emma. Hi, Sylvia. Sharon, you all know this, hundreds of papers that we've made and we never get to use them. Oh, we do use them, but we just have to make hundreds of them. So I've got tons here. Hello, Aunt Linda. And whilst I still love them, I love the, the light, the shade and, uh, sorry, the matten. Um, shine on that, I really love it. And, and whilst I still love these, they're very... Um, I like that one actually. Well, what I'm going to do with them, all these jelly roll things that I've done, all these gel plate issue thingies, you know, I just, I just, I get really mad when I don't use them. So even the back of things are like that. If you just treat this as a, a plain piece of paper, you know, Bob's your uncle. That is a plain piece of paper. And then these little experiments, some of these might be a little bit hard to work on, but they're not going to be overly hard you know that's a nice page to start with and this is probably easier I've got my rice papers there and I've got little works of doodads so yeah I have some colouring in oh, I don't think I'd work on that too much I think I'd work each side of that hello Audrey hi hi Linda you, you know and that's and these like need to be worked on and whatever so that's my aim and i've got the stuff that i started with last time so this one's for kim i've got to post it uh that little one I just thought it was so cool what we did and it was on the back of that and it was a paper and i just really like there's the other one with the cut out circle and it's very much a oh, I'm calming already with this music very much a sort of recycling jobby and stuff but I just like the fact that I'm not leaving my stuff out you know what I mean I'm not um, just trying to remake remake everything it's like we go on the telly and everything you've got to make you know you've got to think of new stuff you've got to think of new techniques that people haven't used for ages or things that you've come up with that you think you've you knew and they're not new they're just reinvented many of the times because there's hardly anything new out there you know i did something on telly the other day and it was a complete because i'd made a right cod's wallet and whenever i'm with the lovely uh catherine I always use the wrong side of my stamp. Now I'm using it all the time. Now I'm using it all the time. So, you know, instead of that, hi Julia, hi Patricia, hi Sue, hi Linda again. Um, instead of that, what I'm doing is now stamping with the back and the front of the stamp because I get an instant sort of halo. 
So yeah, and, and, and some of these are really, not, some are really dodgy, I know that, but, but I can't use them. So, and I've got some really nice, like, little fun elements that I could use. And I'm going to choose something a little bit light today. Because what I don't want to do is overpower my drawing on screen because it, you won't see it. So we'll use this one, I think. It's not the best. Um, I've used brush holes on this. This is all going to go tits up on all that. I'm all going to go off. Never mind. Right, so, ooh, what's that? Um, so, I've got these. I've got some of my little bits and bobs I'm going to use. Um, so, first of all, let's get what we want to use here. So I've not tested my camera this morning, which is unusual for me. I always test it like to, to make sure what I'm doing is in the right space. Or So bear with me if you haven't. Good morning, Susan. Hello, Marie. Vicky, hello. Marie. Yeah, I can as well. Exactly. Exactly, you could do, Emma. Philippa, hello. So you've got all these excellent excellent choices that you've got and you think well what am i going to put on them and i think very much when you look at a piece like this you look at it at rizwan hello you look at it in the entire its entirety don't you rather than elements but there are elements in it that you you know you look past all that and you think i really like that i really do like that it's like this one here i keep looking at it and this one could be a fantastic background. As it is, you know, like that. Oh, thank you, Linda. And I like that as a background. But that on that would really work because they use the same colours, similar colours, you see. So using that, on that or that on that would look really good but you've just got to be you know it's your work at the end of the day it doesn't matter what you do with it, it as long as you're happy with it but you know as long as you realize that you might you know look at one thing and think it's absolutely rubbish and then look at it again on a different color and you think i really like that and i think have all your stuff next to each other like i really like this I really like this background. It's really simple, really clean. Hello, Caroline. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Sylvia. Hey, we're having a chat later. Yes, get in. Get in. I've done all my accounts so I can have a chat with Caroline, my friend. Have a proper chat on the screen. Can't wait. I'm so excited. Anyway, so I look at that and I look at that. And I look at that. And I think this would be really good if I just had a plain circle in the middle. Or I cut this up and put it on a plain background. I think that would look good. But I really do like that as that. I really like the idea of this maybe on that. Oriental pop it. Absolutely. You see, you're all you see, you're all on par, aren't you? See here. And this is just a split in a brush oh you can see many things so if i was to just say right okay let's do this bit and let's work into it then the first thing we're going to do is always look past it let me get my scissors won't be a minute oh i'm not using them there they've got the book ones very fabric ones get them on these bacon ones I think they are right let's okay so let's look at this because there's a little bit of interest in it oh hello Elaine right so if you've got a, a guillotine a chopper a big chopper use it uh, it's better if you use a big chopper actually I'm just going to put it down because I like that bit there okay Now, I'm cutting it down because I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't use all that. I won't use it like that, but I will use it like this. So 
put with these scissors sometimes go or do this before check the back first oh i've got a terrible i've done that so many times right okay got that i don't like it it's not square Oh, shut. What's happening? Oh, it's glue. <laughs> it's glue. <laughs> it's glue. Sorry. It's me with my glue. So, right, I've got this and I've got this now. That really annoys me because it's out of kilter. So, it really does bug me that. So, I'm just going to get rid of these lines. Now, there's a couple of things that we can do today. So, uh, I might, if I get time, I'll do two. But if not, if I don't do two today, what I'll do is I'll do another one maybe friday oh it's venomous friday isn't it whatever it's called crazy friday maybe not so i'm looking at this now and i'm already really interested in in the shapes that i see and on that background what a, it's powerful now isn't it and yet put it back in here Right, like that. You're seeing all that, aren't you? All of it. But now, you're just seeing that wonky snap. It's driving me nutty, that. Right. It's a bit better. It's a bit better. I like the way, and, and remember when I was saying about when you're doing a project... There's a way of looking at it. So there's me, me square and it's the golden section. So it's a third and a third. And a, I know it, it's not a third, but it's a third. So anywhere where it crosses is a good placement. So if you look, I sort of do it naturally now, but it's sort of in this quadrant here. Take a little bit off. If it's there, it's in this quadrant there. Do you get me? So, hopefully. So I'm looking at this now and I really, I'm just seeing petals. I hope you, are you? Hello, Denise. Okay, so we could make this the whole element of the picture or we can add to it and make this, the picture, two things. So let's, Let's do first thing and then I'll go on to do the second thing. So the first thing I'm looking at is I'm looking at this in a very um, flowing way. So I can see a pattern there. Now, what you might do is not see all the pattern. Okay, because you're not seeing the camera, I be, uh, I'm seeing it. Well, there's little elements that perhaps you want to. Now, what I don't want to do is do quite angular doodads. What I want it to be is soft, because this is quite spiky. That's quite spiky. I don't want it all to be spiky. So I'm just going to look, and you can just see, hopefully, that. Now, bear in mind, when you've got this idea of the golden sections and third and third and thirds, bear in mind that you don't have to plonk the image on there. So if I say that that's how it's going to be, and I'll draw another box and show you. So I've got my flower, and it's in the thirds, which is there or there. I don't want my flower to have to fit in the corner there like a fried egg I don't want that what I want is I want it to be like that okay so I want the lines to extend past it now if that means you've got to put it on another piece of paper do it hi John we've got that quite a few Lindas um, so I'm not trying to fit my image on here I am trying to just have this as a back as a picture and look if I put my flower on there now it would go like that 
Do you get me? So the flower extends past it. So. So now what I'm looking at is I've got a little part that comes in here. One there. Sometimes you might have to invent to just. Change that up again. I've got one going in there. I can see this sort of coming around here. And this could be the centre of your flower. And one there. So now, I've got this flower. Now, this is so simple to do. It really is. That's why I'm not going to spend a long time on this. I haven't got all my pens with me because a lot of them are outside in the car. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw this in. Um, I'm drawing on and off the papers so I'm not trying to fit it on see it so now what you can do is I've got another one there and I'm just putting in some more layers so that it does it, you're not just confining it to this area so here I've got these little petals now I'm going to put in now that was one but I think I quite like that shape Now that is another petal, because, hi Glynis, hi Sarah, so here is, because it's blue and I can't really tie it in with what I've got, I'll use it as another petal overlapping, so you've got another idea haven't you, yet another idea, so you've got the idea of your now overlapping things now if i wanted to i could chop that down again i've got no preference to what it is at the moment i just know that i'm I, i'm abstracting or subtracting like taking away an element from it so abstraction to me is like seeing this and taking an element bringing an element forward bringing bringing something out of it and like abstracting it it's like taking that one element and making each time to me i'm not saying it is for everybody because it's not but each time you're know, taking an element and making it bigger taking an element bigger, bigger 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 so each time there is a different focus and it becomes like a microscopic image of like lots and lots of different. So I could have that in the middle. Let's put it back where it was. Right, can you see? So I can put that back in and draw the bigger version and then chop that up. So you've got lots of choices. But you can see how looking at it as a whole, you don't get that image. But looking at it as that far more interesting well i think so and the thing you, that you can do is introduce a simple line to this so the first thing i'm going to do is where the lines are dots just dots i'm not interested in trying to make them really neat and tidy i'm just doing dots okay yeah we did where you blow things up last year we did karen yeah we took elements we blew them up out of them and it's the same thing it's just the same thing it's just looking at the wonderful colors and things you've got um and patterns that you've got in your own work and then using it use your imagination use what 
ideas that you can see at the beginning because that's be honest with you that's really important because those ideas that you've got the gut instincts of what it looks like are, are normally the right ones so this is really simple abstraction and i i love doing this and a lot of my stamps are based on subtraction or abstraction of I don't want to have to sort of do a real life drawing or something that looks at photo realistic, but I want it to have an element of the feel of the original. So what I mean is, so I want it to have a floral feel, but what I don't want is people to have to say, that doesn't look like a rose. Well, it isn't a rose. I want people to say, well, that reminds me of a flower. Exactly, it reminds you of a flower. Oh, Carol! Woohoo! So, I've done a little bit more depth. Can you see how the dots have now brought the colours together? I mean, this is interrupting, but if you sort of let it interrupt, ignore it, We're concentrating on this, there's nothing wrong with it, then you could put like added details on this to make it look like. another leaf so it doesn't have any impact on the ones you're doing and then a little bit of this here i'm using a writing pen because my drawing pens are away so there we go so we've got this here now i'm going to draw into the middle so the middle has got lots of different colors and can you see that's just a brush show where it has sort of disintegrated or spread. And I am just going to now, with this pen, make real details out of them. Because when you look at the inside of a flower, each one is very unique. See it? Okay, so good. Another one here. Now, if you've got your wonderful gel markers and pens and jelly rolls, get in with that. Can you see how it's really coming alive? And it's almost, it's so cathartic so cathartic the fact that because i'm using my imagination i'm looking for images i'm really allowing my brain and my imagination and my mind to have a bit of a vacation because what i'm doing is i'm allowing this to be my main focus and it really doesn't matter what you draw so I'm going out of focus again sorry the auto focus is on and the problem with that is see it now I'll just keep bringing it down. It's because I'm bringing it up and down and it's trying to focus on my pen. So I'll get away. It's because normally I turn my auto focus off and I haven't been able to do that because I've just finished the meeting. So it's my, my fault. Sorry. So here, I'll, I'll keep the pen down. Yeah, it's not freezing here. Sometimes if it freezes, what you're better off doing is going out and coming back in. So, as you can see, I'm building up a little bit of colour here. Um, depth by adding more dots. Just, just get into the feel of it.
really just enjoy it it's like you're looking at it and it's going and um, it's going dark and light and that's what you want i could put this light on but that sometimes causes even more problems let me know if that's any better because it starts to focus on the light just let me know anyway so It's rubbish here. So, oh, I, should, I, I have to do things a lot slower when it's when I've got the autofocus on. So I've got this. I really like that. Actually, I think it's a beautiful sort of way of bringing something out of your work that you didn't necessarily. Like. It's almost like you see a piece of sculpture growing out of the, the, the front of a piece of uh, rock or and you're just like where's that come from it was like it was living inside it and it was emerging and it's almost I almost see this like this so I'm just going to do this little edge here just gonna put my hand there so so what actually is happening is you are It's almost growing out of your page. Emerging from your page. Just love that idea. It's like emerging from a piece of rock or a piece of paper. You know, something that's so flat and something emerges from it and you're like, what? Where did that come from? So to compensate and to, to make sure that a balance is happening i'm just going to do a little bit more there oh uh, she's throwing a wobbler right so i've got that there i'm quite happy with that if i had my gold and silver pens and all that jazz and all that gems oh don't start that you could go in with some pens right but i'm just going to show you a little trick that means i've got to get up again get up again back and back right i could say that's finished now and i've got some pens look ah got some pens here these are my other ones so you could use your your jelly rolls or your white pen i'll just try a little one. Oh, no, i don't want that but if I'll read, i've got an orange pen okay I don't know why this works, but what, what, what? Try another one. Yes. So here, I'm just using a very bright orange pen, and these were cheap because nobody wanted the colours. Do you get me? They're those colours no one wants. But a little bit on there. Just brings it alive. Just a little bit. And I'll put a bit and I'll bring this back down now so it focuses. And if you've seen any of my shows on TV, you'll see that when I'm colouring or shading, it's the light against the dark that really makes things pop out. So I'll just bring it up again. Do, do, do. Can you see? And if you don't like dots, just run it over with your finger and do that. So I've got that there. Okay.
Oh, come on, you big bum. Right, one minute, one minute. I'm doing, there's a reason, there's a reason. It's not doing it right yet, but never mind. You'll, you'll get the idea. It's got a stupid thing. Come on. People are getting bored looking at my elbow. Come on, come on. There you go. So, all I've done, I just put it in a frame. It's going to drop now, but it doesn't matter. But that's just in a frame now, because we're going to have to bring it down. Do, do, do. So, putting it in a frame completely, you've got your picture. You've got your picture. So, yeah, it's very. Uh, very easy to do it's fun to do interesting to do now we'll do something slightly different okay i hope you enjoyed that bit of abstract art we're going to use the same piece of paper we did a little one you know we've got the, the brown that we've got so maybe we use the off cut of the brown right so we'll use this bit here and this bit so i'm just going to chop this off so, we've got the three pieces that we used. So we've got these pieces, okay? So we're looking at a frame format of, let's say it's all gonna be in this one. So, I'm looking for a bit of paper that's cleaner than that. I'll use the back of this, okay? So, we're looking at a frame area of about that big, right? So if I do three, I'll be able to see. So it's handy to always have something that's a little bit bigger than what you're doing. Like that. A little bit bigger. So you know that that, that is going to come underneath your frame totally you know you need that so we've got these pieces of card that we've cut off okay well i cut off and these were from the waist so let's look at them Right, what we could do, put those three together into some sort of collage thing, like that, create our own frame. But I think we should draw something quite simple on them. And I think we could do this so that each picture has a different placement. So if we think that maybe one down here, the next picture, maybe up there next picture there and it's going again so let's go let's have a look at what we can do so I'll just put that on there I'm really happy with that so I'm just going to use some simple now we've done these drawings before so it's nothing new but I'm just going to do some of my doodles that I've done the noodles okay so I'm just going to use this as a frame. So I'm just going to line it up. It's sort of off centre. It's not in the middle. So I've done my line. That's actually bisecting it. Okay. So I'm going to run another line next to it. So I don't want it to run. Now what you can do is go straight off.
there we go so it's inside the frame yeah cool and what we can do now is just put that back and add any details that we want so we'll just do one detail Okay, so we've done this wiggle the line through it. What I'm going to do is just clean this line up a little bit now with a pen. So There we go. I like that better. It's got a better flow. So it's got a better flow now. It's a wiggly line, that's all it is. So now I'm going to put some on this and just to do some noodles on it now. I'm just putting a simple line on it. Like that. So each one's got another I've just put dots on there, you don't have to do that at all. So I've just put some dots on there, I'll bring it up. So and you're using this piece of paper. just as a plain piece of paper it's just the background it just happens that you've stuck it on okay just like that now you could if you wanted to put another little piece in there and just have that sort of coming into it but I quite like just one and then you you just Just doing like a crazy hat thing it's more it's not a hat so that's a lie it's more like a little tendril like that and then you could add some color but if I just take that away for a minute I mean, <laughs> it's a bit weird doesn't it put that in there how nice does that look you can't really see patterns I'll bring it up to you Bring the patterns up to you, you'll get to see the patterns. Yeah, great Christmas presents, Philippa. So you've got that, you know. Bring, come down, come down, come down. Come on. There we go. So we've got this here which is this real simple like and you don't have to have a square it could be any colour that they've got it could be a, a colour that the, in the living room that, of a person that you're giving it to or all that it could be anything let's try another one so what you could do is with a stamp stamp on it and do it rest or you could just do something like a very simple I 
think there was a shape that I did that I loved. I can't remember where my shape is. It's in my book somewhere. Um, yeah, a, a real simple. So let's let's do something a little bit bigger. Again, as long as you know where you're going within your lines, and you think right, okay. Now I've got an idea in my head straight away with this. That looks to me, let me bring it up. That looks to me like dandelion. Flowy things. Alexa, stop. I don't want to get trademark for, not trademark, uh, done. So I've put that there and I'm going to have it over here. Okay. There's a reason I'm going to have it over there and I'll show you why. Place yourself a circle in it, in the in, in the middle, more or less. Okay. So you could have it up there. Now, if I have it in there, I don't like that, so I'm going to change it slightly just to show you what I mean. So, if I have... That sort of shape there. And then I'm going to draw another shape around it. Okay, do you get me? Right, now what I could do, bring that back in, set that up there, and when I draw my, You see, I bring the down. That's it. You won't see it. You need a white pen for this, which I haven't got, of course, or a gold one or a brown pen. that so like that so I have got a dandelion this is so rubbish at the moment but do you know what I mean you've got a a dandelion that you're enclosing in there and you would sort of put in more you know obviously you'd concentrate on lots of like little dots here that look like little um bits disappearing I'll bring it up a bit close it really is rough this I know but you get the idea of There you go. So, but what you do need to do, and this uh, paper, this pen, I'm not too sure about how fast it dries because it's a, a writing pen, not a drawing pen. And uh, 
Although I do draw with them, that's not the point. The point is to dry at different rates to make secure the pens. I just have to be a bit careful. And then just, you know, you've got all sorts of detail you could add to it. But you get the idea, don't you, how easy it is of adding a piece of paper to it. Or if you don't like a certain part, don't like that, add that to there. Say you wanted this down here. And just draw another part into it. So what I've done here is I've just taken and extended it further by extended the drawing that way brought that in and add it that way I actually quite like it higher now so what I've done is take that off put that back in I've got loads of files here so it keeps moving drop that down there we go I like that better and I just have made there maybe maybe that in the corner just to get there so now if i was to put that in a frame finish the circles off i've now got a really nice couple of pieces of work from pieces of paper that there we go the first one get rid of that there's the first one i did Then this one, like that, with maybe even a different colour, I don't know, whatever you want, a bit of colour. Got whatever colour's in that, you could bring that into it now. I'll extend it further, have that right down there. I just think, you know, as long as you know where your frame's going to be, what you want your pictures to be. See, that's better already. Dead easy to do, really easy to do. Really simple, 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 simple ideas um, that anybody can do. Use your pens, get your pens out. I mean, it'd be nice with a bit of orange in here. The problem with brush shows is brush shows just consume all colour but you'll be able to see it a little bit better now consume all colour so brush oil just gets encompassed with them but you can see it's gone really dark here hope you can you see it's really You know, and that could be a bit of emulsion that you've got from your living room, your bedroom, whatever the thing is that you're using. Slap it on that, cut the page up and have it as sections in your living room. All you've got to do is bang on a piece of the colour, pretend it's in the background, draw over it, you're done. Absolutely done. You don't need to do anything else. It's just really simple. And if I get rid of those lines, it probably would look even better. But this is a, the best tip I could give people, is that before you do it, know where, you, where, where, know where your drawing is. And then what happens is you can just work to the area or work, ex, work beyond it. That's better now. There we go. Thank you very much, everybody. So, wow, well, done quite a bit in an hour, haven't I? Wow. Blooming neck. So yeah, get your bits and bobs, cut them out like we did today. Get your first flower that I'll show you that we made. Don't forget that one, we did that one as well. So 
so let's have a quick look in. let's get the first one so this is the first one and i'll do it on plain paper so you can see i'll just keep it in the background about like that so you get to see it oh my cam my camera will be going bananas now but doesn't matter which way you get the idea so that's the first one in the frame that we did and i didn't even cut that to the right so you could you know cut it to any size you want thank you sharon right so that's the first one with the flower technique let's go to the second one which was with the off cut of that to there second technique I love the shadow on it actually it creates a lovely atmosphere you know spiky flower to the third technique which is same thing but the add, adding that frame and that back adding that frame to something so in one hour and i'll be honest with you i will be honest with you need a bit of work on them i know absolutely know that but in one hour we've got three pieces of work that most people would be happy to put on the wall you know and, and it's all from this bit of paper here so if you think about all the wonderful papers you've got that's just that bit there still got loads of it left so you could make even more and don't forget though you could extend if you wish that outside the frame just there so this bit is outside the frame not just in the mount but out the mount Did you get me Anyway, I love you. I'll leave you there. We've had an hour. I hope you've enjoyed that. Yeah, oh, thank you. I'm so glad you've enjoyed it. I'm here in there. I'm going to do now. I think it will be Black Friday. Everyone's shopping, aren't they? So I'm not even going to try Friday. So maybe Sunday. I think I'll do Sunday if there's no match. Yeah, I'll do Sunday at noon. Um. And I'll put an event out for everybody to meet up. And, uh, yeah, hopefully watch this space. There's some new stuff coming out. But, yeah, thanks for your time. And I will be online. I'm not in my room because I've got tons to do. I'm sorry. But um, I'll be online and I'll be able to uh, see all the work that you do. Thanks, everybody. And, and I will say bye. Look how dark it is. Ooh.